What's up guys? Today I am bringing you some Destiny gameplay. We did a quick run through of the daily to get the Black Spindle. Not my best gameplay because it was my first game on and we just did a quick run through. This is my second one because I got it a few days ago on my Hunter, but I just made a Warlock and I love it so much I wanted to get it again just so I wouldn't have to keep switching it. But anyways, I got the Black Spindle when everybody first found out about it. A ton of people were asking me how I got it and how I beat the mission because honestly for the average player, the mission isn't easy. It's very satisfying when you beat it and get the Black Spindle. It's one of the best guns in the game for PvE at least. It was a lot harder my first time doing it and I had low light so I definitely recommend you have your light as high as possible for this and I will make a video on how to get your light up fast so look out for that. If you don't have the black spindle you need to get it. It will definitely help you on a ton of strikes and raids especially against the war priest and Golgoroth and King's Fall. For those of you who are new to Destiny, black spindle is an exotic sniper rifle with a really good perk called white nail where if you land all precision shots like headshots or hit weak spots on a tank your magazine is automatically reloaded without you having to do anything you just can keep firing so there is a special side quest you need to complete to get the black spindle and it's only available within a main mission called lost to light you can only get the side quest when lost to light is the daily mission you can't just select lost to light normally or even raise the difficulty on it the black spindle part will only be available when it's a daily story mission even though it's not the daily now don't worry Bungie said that this is gonna be the daily a lot so you'll probably get it at least a day out of each week to get the black spindle so it could be tomorrow mission you never know so when you finish the first part of the mission by killing an ogre and seeing it get taken by oryx another sequence will start where you're gonna have to run from a ton of enemies and if you aren't fast enough you'll get to an area where a door that's normally closed will be open the door leads to the area on the shadow thief strike mission where you board the fall and catch and kill tanix except now the ship is full of taken and you have like 10 minutes to kill everyone you go up board the ship and as soon as you enter the room with the first wave of enemies a 10 minute countdown will begin so the first room shouldn't be that much of a problem. You've got a Centurion with Ark and two Knights with Solar and other enemies. After you kill everyone and the door opens for you to go downstairs, the side door opens the hallway with some enemies including a captain. Clear them out and you'll make it into the big room where you would normally fight the walker tank. Except now there are three taken wizards with void shields as well as like four or five vandals sniping from up top making this room kind of annoying. The vandals up top will put bubbles up and heal themselves if you damage them, so make sure you kill them fast. As you enter the final boss room, there will be a blight to your left and right. Take out these first along with the enemies and then damage the boss for a little bit. Soon after, two more blights will spawn in the back, take them out and the enemies out, and then damage the boss some more. That's pretty much the trick to the whole fight. There's going to be a total of eight blights that you have to kill that'll spawn in intervals of two. And then focus on the boss. It's tricky because there's a lot of things you have to look out for. The knights shoot a bunch of flames, the scions multiply and overwhelm you, and the centurions shoot these axion bolt-like things which deal a ton of damage. And remember, you have to kill everyone. It doesn't matter if you just kill the boss. If the timer runs out before you clear out the whole room and all the regular enemies, you will get kicked and sent back to orbit and have to restart from the beginning. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. Let's see if we can hit 5,000 likes on this video. And subscribe to join the wolf pack. Oh, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.